from uh, to the Paralympics and we have Will Dixon here as well, he's part of Road to Recovery and he has rode the Atlantic, 3,000 miles of it. So Will, how much of an honour is it to have been invited to row on board Gloriana? Yeah, incredible. Uh, I don't think we would be, well, be very surprised when we arrived in Barbados. I think in a few months' time we'll be here leading the pageant. Uh, it's a great honour. And the, the message of this boat is about empowerment, isn't it? And encouraging everybody, whether they've been injured in a roadside bomb as you have been, whether they have a disability, whether they are able-bodied in the Olympic gold medalists, to get out there, do what you can. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, an inspiring crew to be a part of. Um, you know, the, 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 the front of the great in They've done a bit of rag in their time, but you know, a real mix of, uh, of, of individuals and stories on board. Well, we just shuffled up here across uh, Miriam and Gwyn Batten, who, who won silver medals at the Sydney Olympics, and Manny, who won his fifth gold medal in Sydney 2004, stroking the boat. Steve Redgrave, how's it feeling, sir? It's feeling really good. Amazing crowds. I've uh, rode in some big crowds before, but not, not counting up to here. And in terms of the honours that you've had in your life and the things that you've done, where does this rank? This is my very special place up there. Yes. Uh, Lord Sterling was the, uh, the guy that's in charge and, and uh, I saw the boat in December.